God is a good God. Yes, He is. Uh, as I said, I, I, I don't plan to be good for God's people alone. But for those of you that need a subject matter, rest in my pricking of you. For those of you that are in the balcony, hallelujah. Uh, rest in my pricking of you. It's amazing because as I begin to, to, to read and I, I ask, always ask the Lord, Father, what would you have me to say to these, your people? Uh, it's amazing. And he took me, I, I began to read and, uh, uh, well, before, let's, let's understand what, what I ask. I look for the definition of prick, uh, a nagging or sharp feeling of remorse or sorrow. In other words, uh, uh, discomfort for purpose. Uh -huh. I, I, I can't hear nobody because I, uh, to define it as as a as a, a nagging a sharp feeling of remorse or sorrow. And the Lord told me, uh, well, mine is discomfort for purpose. Uh, it's, it's amazing because as, as I began to read and I began to study and he took me to Moses and you must understand that when we when we read it's amazing it's amazing how how the Lord had began to deal with Moses and 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 sometimes we we may find uh, uh, men and women of God uh, ourselves in situations and, and thinking that uh, well we're here because or what we've gone through is because uh, we were just born in the wrong family. And if anyone ever thought, well, sometimes, well, well if I was born in, in, in such and such house, I, I wouldn't have to go through these things that I go through. Why we got to be poor, mama? Daddy, why we can't have things in life? Why we just got to eat rice all the time? How come we can never have meat in our rice? I can't hear nobody. Uh, 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 but it's amazing because, like in Moses, and this is amazing because... The Lord, now the Bible declares, when you in the story, I'm just paraphrasing in the book of Exodus, talking about Moses. Now, uh, Moses was a, a Hebrew. You must understand. Uh, Moses did not know that he was a Hebrew. Uh -huh. Moses, like, started off, and God had already made the deal with how he was going to deal with Moses. Hallelujah. What, what, what we begin to look at as though it, it, was, it, was, it was granted a pleasure, but uh, in, 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 in essence, it was God had pricked Moses, and, but it didn't look like Moses was pricked. Uh -huh. God had placed a, a, a thorn in Moses, but it didn't look like because if you would have asked Moses when he was one of the Egyptian rulers, he'd have had you arrested and accosted and probably put away if you told him, uh, uh, you know, God is using you. Like, you know, I'm, mm, he wasn't hearing that. And sometimes, you know, uh, the Lord, uh, the Lord would allow us, even though wealth, uh, uh, my God. Teach me, Pastor. Come on, come on. How many realize that, that, that wealth can be pricked upon you? Okay, okay, okay. Uh, how can, how will pastor, how can being wealthy be, be, be a curse, be pricked? You better talk about it now. Mm. Jesus. Uh, uh, well, well, whose wealth was it in the first place? Uh, uh, who gave you your wealth? Uh, I can't hear nobody. Uh, uh, just because you might be wealthy, but where did your resource of your wealth come from? Uh, I can't hear nobody because it, 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 if, if, the, if the seed is cursed and it is passed off to you, well, that reception of that seed is cursed. Uh, so, so, so the story was like Moses. Moses was, was uh, the Lord was pricking Moses. He pricked Moses and he started it off as though it's just an innocent child going down the Nile and it was like where the mother was like, well, we can't keep him because of uh, God was setting some things up, but he placed him in the now and set him up where I need him to get involved in the, uh, with, with Pharaoh. See, because you must understand, mm, uh, God is so awesome in his strategic. Yeah. I, I can't hear nobody. He is so awesome in, in his strategic planning. So, so Moses being a Hebrew in Egypt, mm, God began to use him as, even as an infant, as a child, because you must understand, well, why Moses? Why would she uh, choose Moses down and out? There must have been something that that, uh, that Moses had around him that uh, uh, pulled, because I'm sure there were more attractive babies or what, I, mm, around than other than Moses. But how come she just didn't ignore him while he was coming down the basket? Oh in the, now, how come he was not ignored? 
I can't hear nobody. Uh, because you my royalty don't always bend down to something lesser than what they are. Uh, I, I can't hear nobody. Y'all Y'all don't want to talk to me, but, but, but you must understand. But when God has a plan for your life, hallelujah, it will not cease or end until it's completed. I can't hear nobody. So, now, so, so you must understand, why would a royalty bow down to something beneath it? Well, first of all, no, no Egyptian child would be floating down uh, in the Nile River. And surely not made of a basket with, with pitch on it. I, I can't hear nobody. Yes. So, 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 so you must understand now something that Lord had that must have had something uh, around mold the Egyptian woman for the, the king's daughter to recognize, hey, let, I, I need this child. Why am I uh, compelled to grab this child? Yes. That's it. That's yes. it. So as she was bathing, and then because uh, she could not nurse, and it's amazing, uh, uh, it's amazing how the sister, when she pushed, she stayed there until, yeah. as yeah. though the Lord had spoken to her and said, "Don't leave until your your brother has been received by Pharaoh's daughter." Yeah. Right. Because why would she just watch if something wasn't told to her to stay there yeah. Yeah. until he was picked up? Because you must understand. If you must understand. If you're not of the same caliber as the Egyptians, uh, and Moses did not look the caliber of, of an Egyptian, uh, why would she waste her time? That's right. Yeah. Why? That's right. Why? Listen to him. Listen to him. So, 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 I believe there was something about uh, that was around Moses. Hallelujah. That Lord, the, 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 the Pharaoh's daughter, to bend down and decide, hey, I want this child, but I cannot nurse. And then the sister showed her. So this was the beginning of Moses pricking. I, I can't hear nobody because you must understand sticking with God, hallelujah, with the Lord will prove itself. Yeah. And sometimes the problem is that we jump ship, hallelujah. I go by. Yeah. Uh, a lot of times that, that believers, we jump ship as opposed to sticking, hallelujah. Yeah. Don't nobody want to talk to me today. It's okay. It's all right. Me and Jesus go all the way. I can't. So, 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 and then as we as we read in, in, in the book of Acts, it says it says that 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 Moses was being taught. He was educated in, in all the fine knowledge. Hallelujah. Uh, he knew the Egyptian culture. How many realize you can't be a help? Hallelujah. To the kingdom until you know how the enemy thinks. So what are you saying? Can you oh, give me a mic that is working? Uh, 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 because you must understand, you cannot be a help uh, to the kingdom until you understand how the enemy works. What's your opponent doing? Come on, Pastor. So, so, so it's amazing because what it looked like at, at the time is though uh, Moses was, and he you thought that, well, I, I'm so a full-fledged Egyptian. I, uh, so because uh, uh, I, 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 where I am, hallelujah, and not even recognize. Not recognizing, hallelujah, Thank you, that the Lord has Moses because he wasn't feeling the discomfort. Uh, see, how many realize sometimes we can be pricked, but the Lord has not geared us to start feeling discomfort until it's time. I can hear nobody. And that's why a lot of times, hallelujah, we think because we don't feel anything that nothing's going on with us. Hallelujah, that everything is all right. Hallelujah. Sometimes, hallelujah, it's not why is it when God begins and he has need of us, hallelujah, that when we begin to feel something. See, God didn't have need of Moses at that time, so Moses didn't feel the pricking, but he was already pricking. How many realize that you're walking around with a thorn? Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And just because you don't feel it don't mean a problem. We think that God doesn't use us because we don't feel God. Y'all don't want to go with me. It's okay. It's okay. Hallelujah. So you must understand, uh, uh, Moses was brought up with a fine understanding of, of the Egyptian law. He understood how to maneuver. Hallelujah. He was well educated. Hallelujah. There was nothing that Pharaoh, hallelujah, knew that Moses didn't know. How I many realize that mama's going to take care of her son? Uh, yeah. uh, you got to yeah. teach my son what you know. Hallelujah. Oh. Uh, I can't hear nobody. So Moses was brought up with, with a fine understanding. He Egyptian law. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. My God. 
So it's amazing because right about that time, I, I, I believe when Moses was on the uprise, hallelujah, at the pinnacle where he should have been, he probably would have been next in line after uh, uh, Pharaoh's son to be Pharaoh. I, I can't hear nobody. But it's at that time that the Lord allowed Moses to come down and begin to see somebody squabble. Yeah, do you just sometimes realize why you're being pulled in the direction, but you don't understand because sometimes you think you have no affiliation when the direction of God is pulling you in. Hallelujah. But 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 when it's revealed, hallelujah. Uh, because Moses was being pulled in the direction. You're like, well, I have no affiliation. It's Hebrew, so why am I being compelled to go down and get into that situation? I'm an Egyptian. I don't know of myself to something that I, I can't hear about. It. So, so, so Moses, now, now why not being a ruler? I, I, I rule over you. I will show sympathy to somebody that I don't associate with. Ah, uh, but how many know that? that, that mm. But when God has a pricking, it will explain itself if you stick with him. Uh, see, it will unfold. See, this is a lot of times see, we don't understand things because we don't allow it to unfold. Uh, so, so it's amazing. So, uh, Moses himself compelled to get involved with a Hebrew squabble. Uh, so that's what we're going to call it, a Hebrew squabble. So he got involved with the Hebrew squabble and then he had empathy and sympathy towards the, 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 the opponent, the, the one, the underdog that was getting beat up. Yeah, 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 yeah. And this is so amazing that it's not only that, but he opposed those that he was supposed to be a part of. He sided with the Lord to override those that were with him. Because it was an Egyptian, hallelujah, that was oppressing, and he was saying this all along. If this wasn't this was a common occurrence that was so why this particular day that he got involved. Why was it this particular day that he was compelled to say, okay, why is my consciousness going towards this Hebrew over this Egyptian? Why is this whipping so different from the other many whips that I've seen? This is just what we do. To get a job done, we pull the whip out and we pop the back. So why this day that I'm compelled to say, hold up, something's wrong here? Ah, now the pricky, now now the thorn that 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 was just lying dormant began to push pain. And, and, I, 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 I need you to pay attention, Moses. I, I, I need you to look at what's going on, oh, Moses. I, I, you cannot ignore this, Moses. I, put your eyes, because you can't ignore this. I'm going to keep it coming on you, Moses, till you bend to my will, Moses. I can't hear nobody. Moses didn't understand, but the pricky started pricking him even more. The thorn started sticking. And the more when Moses began to bend down and say, hold up, stop. But the Hebrew mm, was being oppressed and the Egyptian continued to do it. So Moses did the only thing that he could do to stop him because I'm sure he tried to uh, realize what he was trying to get across. But that wasn't working. Hallelujah. So Moses then took matters in his own hand. Uh, sometimes the pain doesn't subside until we address it. Yes. And, and, and the right way, there's a right way to address pain and there's a wrong way to address pain. Wrong way uh, to address it now. So when My Moses God. addressed that pricking, that thorn, hallelujah, he ceased the life of the Egyptian, hallelujah. And therefore, he thought because you must understand, now he reflected back unto his role as being, he thought that he can cover it up. Uh, but how many realize when God has need of you, he also has a witness to see what you're doing. Yes. 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 Don't ever think that, hallelujah, when you belong to God, God always has someone to watch to be a witness. Hallelujah. Yes. That what you thought that was something that you were hiding. Hallelujah. Yes. See, because when God wants to expose you, no matter what you're doing, you're going to be exposed. Yes. When the time is right. So the, the following day, and I'm paraphrasing it. And go back and read up, uh, paraphrasing that. Well, Moses was walking, and then you know he saw two more somebody, uh, other Egyptians, over, and then they replied to Moses, "Would you do tell us what you did to the Egyptian on the day before?" At that time, Moses became fearful. Because now the matter was out and he recognized and he realized that it wouldn't be too much longer before it got back to Pharaoh that Moses killed one of his own. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Jesus. 
what he thought was his own. I can't hear nobody. But how many realize that God's purpose is always greater than what we think? How many realize that God's purpose is always greater than what we think? Hallelujah. So at that particular time, Moses, hallelujah, sometimes you don't have time to pack. See, sometimes we think when, when God is saying move, move, I, I can't hear nobody. But we will say, okay, Lord, let me get this. Uh, well, Lord, I, I, I'm going to go, Father, but can I just get this and take this? Sometimes when God say move, move, don't pick nothing. Don't take that pass with you. When I say move, take it and move. Hallelujah. I can't hear nobody. Quit trying to bring remnants of something that I'm trying to bring you out of. Hallelujah. I can't hear nobody. So sometimes the God in places and cities, hallelujah, think the situation dictates that, hey, you have no time to try to reflect on what's going on. I need you to move and I need you to move now. So this was a situation that Moses couldn't fret. Moses could not, they just, Moses just had to leave. I can't tell nobody, I just got to go. Uh, uh. But when Moses thought he was leaving, hallelujah, when, how he thought he was leaving in fear, mm, God had a plan all along, hallelujah. Moses thought he was leaving one way, hallelujah, but God was beginning him on his, mm, on his path. See, because sometimes you must understand how he was doing with Moses. Uh, Moses left with the ideology thinking that I, I just uh, committed murder against my own kind. But that was never Moses' kind. Hallelujah. That's right. Jesus. That's good, yeah. Now, how many realize because the, the Lord said, well, tell them with me it will unfold. It will explain why your then was then and why your now is now. I was like, look, what? Church, let them know, hallelujah. Sometimes, see, we get so wrapped up in what our then was, but and we don't allow our now to come into fruition because we get so wrapped up on what our then was and we carry our then to our present, hallelujah, and not recognizing that our, our then, hallelujah, will bring us to our situation if we stay the course. Yes. Stay the course. Yes. Sometimes it's intended for you to remember where you came from and what happened to you. But we get it all wrapped up. We begin to listen to those that how many realize that the enemy sends blockers so you don't realize, hallelujah, that God has a thorn in your side and he placed a thorn in your side for a purpose, only that he will unveil unto you, hallelujah. But you gotta stay the course. But the enemy will send those around you to say, Well, you know, you shouldn't put up with that. Mm. We began to listen. We began to listen. Hallelujah. So, so it's a, it's amazing. It's amazing that 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 in Second Corinthians and, and it was like okay, Second Corinthians was saying, and this is Paul was saying that at least I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelation. A thorn in the flesh was given to me, a messenger of Satan to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. Concerning this thing, I pleaded with the Lord three times it might depart from me. And see, this is where a lot of us find ourselves in the body of Christ. Lord, remove this thorn, hallelujah, because I, I don't want to have to feel, but how many realize God gets the greatest out of us when we have discomfort in our life? I, I, I see somebody, somebody in here, hallelujah. Somebody in here, God gets the greatest out of your life when you got a little discomfort, hallelujah. You serve better when you got a little discomfort in your life. Oh my God, from something, hallelujah. Mm, that if I say God. So he said, so he said, so, so he said, that's why, that's why Paul pleaded three times, three times, hallelujah. Lord, allow this that it might depart from me. And he said to me, oh, you must understand my grace is sufficient. Hallelujah. Because if everything goes your way, when you want it to go your way, you will have no need of me. Hallelujah. You would think. Amen. Sometimes I, 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 I prick you for a reason. Hallelujah. I prick you for a reason. But some of us try to circumvent and have somebody, someone that's the wrong someone to pull the thorn out of our side because we want to feel better. Hallelujah. We, we don't want to have the spiritual conflict or the, 
the spirit to inflict it. So we go to, to a soothsayer, hallelujah. We go to 1 800, hallelujah, and start calling, uh, who's that, Chloe, and start calling all them other uh, uh, asterisk gods and whatnot to try to give us a resolution for why we're going through what we're going through, hallelujah. But that is not the path I wanted it and intended it. But what you have done, you begin to open up doors, hallelujah, that never should have been opened up. So therefore, those doors are unfamiliar that's not of God that you open up. You got to read, hallelujah. See, we, we, we begin to go to a doctor that's not authorized to deal with what we're going through. See, 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 y'all, 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 mm, y'all don't want to talk to me now. See, we want to, we, we want to go to, to a doctor that really never got his credentials or her credentials. How, how they, they just told you they know how to get it out. How, so therefore, you thought that they can deal with your spiritual problem. Hallelujah, with their natural needs. Hallelujah. Instead of going to the king, ah, ah, yeah, I don't say. How, so therefore, when, when, when you thought that, that God said, well, I'm gonna pull my hand away from you, then since so you don't want to trust me, but you say you belong to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Right Amen. Amen. Jesus. Amen. Amen. So, 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 it's amazing. It's amazing that, that he said that my grace is sufficient for you. For my strength is made perfect. There's a reason why I want you to be weak at times. There's a reason why the Lord wants you to be weak at times. I can, I can hear nobody. Yeah, I understand what you're going through. I understand that you're up bring your best, but I understand that, but there's a reason why I got you in that particular place for you, hallelujah, out of everybody else in your family, why you, because I chose you to go this path, hallelujah, I could have chosen them, but that wasn't for my plan, my plan was for you, hallelujah, so who are you to say, try to go somebody else, to someone else to circumvent what I'm doing for you, because you don't want to feel the pain, Uh, but see, we, we're going to we're going to those those, those false individuals, hallelujah, to try to resolve a remedy, hallelujah, that only God can resolve. But we don't want to go through God's way. We try to circumvent. Mm. So we never really realize, hallelujah, sometimes I think it's incomplete because uh, uh, what I then was, hallelujah, would never bring us to where, why we are where we are now because we need to continue. So, 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 it's amazing, it's amazing that as Moses was doing what he was doing, and it wasn't until, hallelujah, God got Moses to leave, and he went to Midian, hallelujah, he started dealing with Jethro, and, and then the Lord started dealing with him, and uh, was caring, and he was like, he started giving him bits and pieces with, with Moses, this is what, this is why you had to go through, this is what, but, but I'm an Egyptian, no, 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 and then he started revealing, because he started dropping clues everywhere, you're a Hebrew, look at this, this little cloth that, 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 uh, your sister popped back on Miriam uh, Popped back on the scene Hallelujah And Aaron popped on the scene to tell you how, No, they're witnesses to tell you who you are Hallelujah And, and comfort that you feel it Because I needed you to find me Amen Amen Knock and it shall be open Seek and you shall find and it shall be given unto you. Hallelujah. If you say you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart, hallelujah. You if any man being Christ, he's a new creature. Hallelujah. That means all of the little of our All things. Mm. And behold, things are new. So those of you, let me let me explain some things to you right now. Those of you that gave your life over to Christ, hallelujah. Your main went your way, hallelujah. After you gave your life over to Christ. So at that point in time, you begin to prick you, hallelujah. But then we begin to do our own thing as opposed to stay in the course, hallelujah. So therefore, we stop feeling or we never begin to feel the pain of God's pricking on us, hallelujah. Because we thought we fell into this thing once, say it, always say it, hallelujah. I can do whatever I want to do because I gave my life over to Christ uh, 10 years ago. So, so I'm saying, no, 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 don't let the enemy fool you, hallelujah. So God has been trying to get your attention, but you're not feeling the pain, not his pain. You're feeling this false pain because why? You've connected yourself with things in the world. Hallelujah. So when you connect yourself with the things of the world, you're not feeling God's pain. You're feeling the world's pain. 
because of disobedience, I can't get nobody. So therefore, your, your, your purpose is never being fulfilled because you hadn't returned to he who caused the pain for your prick. You never realized that you had a thorn in your side. Hallelujah. So if you never realize, you can never ask for it to be removed. Ah. You can never say, you can never say, well, Lord, what is this? Well, I did this to draw you back. How many realize that God works in a mysterious way? He does certain things to draw us back unto him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Jesus. He does things so it would draw us back unto him. So sometimes he has us. You think sometimes that because it's amazing. Sometimes even though it's like with Moses and some of us get caught up. Hallelujah. Even when God has, has dropped and changed and tried to circumvent, we ignore because we think that we're supposed to be in a wealthy place. Uh, and which is good, but it's a godly wealthy place that we can be in and a worldly wealthy place. Right, 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 right. There is a difference. Hallelujah. I can't hear nobody. But we think that all wealthy places is of God. Amen. 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 And because we think that, hallelujah, we think that that we never allow, because he says, uh, uh, when you recognize that I, I placed a thorn because I begin to push it on you, well, when we get ourselves in a place sometimes that we think that we're supposed to be there, we become numb to God. We become numb to him pressing on us. Yes, because we think our money has placed us in a place and when we say because we gave our life over to Christ uh, 15 years ago, we think that God has blessed us in a place hallelujah, we never go visit him anymore. What we do is we find a television and we begin to tell people, well, you know, I, 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 I was at home and I was, but, but when you're capable of getting up on your two feet, hallelujah, and going to the house of the Lord, that's what you're supposed to be doing. So we never really feel God pricking on us, hallelujah. So we never really understand when, when, when uh, Paul, Paul was saying, well, when the Lord begins, my grace is sufficient. Yes, it is. Because your discomfort has caused you to move in elevation. Yes. Yes. Because when I acknowledge you and I let you know I know what I'm doing to you. I know. Yes. Uh, and, and, and the right resolution. You know, it can either push us or divert us right, from the call. Right. Come on! That's good. That's good. Mm. That's good. That's good. See, because sometimes we try to, sometimes men and women of God, we try to, again, we try to circumvent as, as opposed to, we, we go to man's way as opposed to God's way. Amen. The Bible declares that in, in Proverbs uh, 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 5, trust in the Lord and lean not to my own understanding. Right. Acknowledge him and he will direct our path. Yes, sir. Even when it doesn't feel good, Lord, what's going on? Yes, Amen. yes, uh -huh. yes. That's a good word, yeah. Mm. Hallelujah. Because the Lord, and I'm almost done. Thank you, Jesus. And I asked the Lord, and he said, uh, to ask his people, who will you turn to when you feel unassured? Who do we turn to when we feel weak and unsure? Because sometimes our, our, our time of a, our time, everyone's time of addressing or being addressed from God is different. Yes, sir. Because God may address your neighbor at a different time than he addresses you. And because you think that God doesn't hear you, you go off your neighbor's addressing and think that, well, I'm going to copy what, what they're doing. That's right. uh -huh. Because God is hearing them, they, and, and he's not hearing me. Maybe you haven't reached your, 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 your time of maturity. Yeah. Yeah. Because you must understand, Moses was almost 40 years old. Yes, sir. Before he started, before the Lord started dealing with him. But the prick was in him when he was a baby. Yeah. 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 And our problem is we think we try to put a time limit on what God and when God's supposed to do something for us. 
because things are different when, when, when uh, to whom much is given, much is required. Uh, but when we have that understanding, well, will you be ready when he calls? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Oh, I can hear it on Amen. So we have to under, we have to understand. Rest in my pricking of you. Because when we belong to God and that discomfort, sometimes uh, when, when 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 we feel that discomfort, sometimes we can go we can go uh, a quarter of our life, uh, a fourth of our life. Well, that's the same thing. Half of our life. Yes, sir. Three quarters of our life, and then the Lord decides, boom, I want you to start feeling something. I want you to start feeling something because now you're ready, hallelujah, to conclude, hallelujah, what I have you here for. Stop trying to measure up to what your neighbor, how I'm dealing with your neighbor. Stop it. Stop it. Because a lot of times we miss what God has for us because we're looking over the fence at our neighbor. Come on now. Okay. Y'all got to understand when the spirit of the Lord begins to move it, it's not always carnal. Hallelujah. Right, right, right. That's it. You need to have your spiritual under eyes and your ears on. That's right. Yes. That's right. Yes, sir. Because I... I, I uh, and with Moses, look how much Moses accomplished. That's right. Mm -hmm. Look at God. Look how much Moses accomplished. And he didn't start until he was about 40 years old. But then when, when, when the Lord started, <laughs> I need to get your attention and something. You know, when, I, when, when, I, when I divert you, because who would in their right mind come down when they think that sometimes God requires you to give up? And Moses gave up a lot that he but it was never his in the first place. Yes, but it had to be used to get Moses where God needed him That's right. to fulfill his purpose. Because right. Moses, Moses' riches were greater than what Pharaoh ever had. Right, 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 right. My God! Spiritually, Moses' riches were greater than what Pharaoh could and could ever give Moses. That's right. Because look at the work that he used. He used that same individual to return. Mm. The last shall be first. Hallelujah. My time is up.